Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is MongoDB full tutorial series for beginners. Today is the part 10th of the series and in today's episode we are going to learn about how to update existing documents in a collection. This is part of the CRUD operations which is create, read, update and delete. Welcome back. This is MongoDB full tutorial playlist. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. I have planned around 21 tutorials for you with live hands-on tutorials and live examples. So today we are in the episode number 10 where we will learn how to update documents which are already existing in a collection. All right, so like I do it in most hands-on examples, I'll do it, I'll show you using both Compass app, which is a graphical user interface tool, also with Visual Studio Code MongoDB extension. All right, and running the terminal commands, of course. All right, so updating documents is nothing but already you have some JSON key value pairs, which has nothing but documents. Now we are trying to update the values, right? So we can update using three, there are three methods mainly that we can apply. We can say update, update one which means it will up, it will find the first record and update that update many will update multiple uh, records at one go all right so let's see that in action now so let's go here all right first let me show you in the compass app so let's say you have these three documents which are there it can be anything that you have just click on the edit document and you see it in the edit mode so we can update the value right so Okay, and then just click on update here and document is updated, right? Similarly, you can again click update and you can add a new key value pair also, right? Let's say for example, mobile, right? So you can give any value and click again update. So see, basically you updated an existing document easily using this GUI tool, right? But if you are a developer, you would want to update these using queries, right? So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so I have this uh, collections here, which is called leads. So let's see first show databases. So it will show the list of databases. I'm saying use testing DB. So it says switch to DB testing. All right, so far so good. Now what we are going to do is we are going to insert or update, right? So let's build the query here db dot leads that's the collection name dot update right now this will take two parameters the first is the condition or the criteria like if you see here i'm saying name colon arc tutorial so that's the uh, name we are setting so you can you can have it any name so this is a condition so i'm saying name should match say mickey right because i have i know we have a document by the same name here somewhere yeah, here, right, so name Mickey, right? So that's what I'm trying to put it here. And what I'm going to do is wherever there is name Mickey, then you need to set this value, right? Let's format this nice so that way it's easy for you to understand, right? Then you will say set, right? Now set what? Set, you will set either existing value or you can even change to new value. So I will show you both. So first select this mobile and then you go here and say update mobile number to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, right? And you can also set and say uh, is active. You can put any key name that you want. I keep saying that. Um, so this is a Boolean value, right? So see, now I'm now what I'm saying is go find in this database, find a collection by the name leads and then update wherever you find name as Mickey and set these new values, right? So let's now execute this query. So this is how you would usually do in your queries also when you write in Node or Express, you want to send data, you'll send like this. So you see it says n matched one and then modified one. Now let's go ahead and check and verify the data. Let's refresh and here if we go, so you see here now the mobile number is changed and is active true, right? So similarly, I'm going to change one more and put it as active so that we can do some more operations and I can show you update many, right? So here I'm saying 
update where state is Tamil Nadu and put the key as is active, right? So let's see. So I'm running this query now. It says modified and matched one. Let's go refresh. All right. So you see here it says active true, right? So now let's write a query to do update many. Right. So here again we have to use an arrow since right update many wherever there is is active is true set the is active to false right so what i'm saying now is wherever there is is active equal to true set it to false in our case we have two documents which has active true one is mickey and the other is from channel right so these two should be set to false after once we execute so let's see that now right so copy the query So it says acknowledged true, matched count two, modified two, right? So now let's go back to our data and verify it. So see here, now it is set to false. This is set to false, right? So this is how you can update one or more documents in your collection, right? I hope insert is clear. I hope update is clear. That's what we are following. In the next episode, I'm going to teach you how to find documents in collection using the find method. Extremely important, extremely useful whenever you're doing Node and Express with MongoDB. This is something that you will find yourself using 80% of the time with respect to queries. So make sure you don't miss out the next one. If you like the video, just hit like button, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.